Cardinals pitcher Jack Flaherty in frustration that some teams didn't play while others did tweeted this as you can see why is it so hard to do something unified for one day just one day we have reestablished our contact with our insider Jeff Passon so Jeff good morning seven games as a whole get postponed yesterday others are played you hear Flaherty bringing up that question why was there no unified stance here in baseball Greeny, I'd like to make an argument against a unified stance here. And the idea that Major League Baseball would come together on the fly and tell all teams this is something you should do, this is what's good for the sport, is, I suppose, noble in theory. But in practice, the reason that the New York Mets and Miami Marlins did what they did yesterday, the reason that Lewis Brinson laid down the Black Lives Matter shirt on home plate is because the teams got together and came up with that themselves. The reason that you saw seven games postponed yesterday and three games postponed the day before is because the players sat in meetings, had uncomfortable, difficult conversations, and came to the conclusion that playing right now simply was not the right thing to do. This was not mandated by the sport. This was not perfunctory. This was them getting to the point where they believed that this was what they needed to do in that moment. And to me, that is far more powerful than anything that a sport says, okay, this is what we're going to do on a particular day. And the fact that it's leading up to Jackie Robinson Day today, it shows me that the players are finally taking ownership of something that baseball players for the longest time have just passed off as something that NBA players do, that NFL players do, that other sports do, that baseball is not involved in. Van Wagen and then released a statement apologizing to the commissioner, Rob Manfred. That's the Rob he's referencing, saying he didn't know all the facts of the situation. He said, Jeff, meaning Wilpon, proposed an idea of playing the game an hour later. I misunderstood that this was the commissioner's idea. In actuality, it was Jeff's suggestion. My frustration with the commissioner was wrong and unfounded. And as I bring my Jeff back into the conversation here, Jeff Passan, nothing could be more 2020 than a videotape getting, going viral like that of a guy wearing a mask, talking to someone that you can't see about the wrong person. And then when the Mets <laughs> released their statement criticizing him, their own general manager, they misspell his first name. So with all of that as the context of what happened here, what are we supposed to make of it? Greeny, if you ever wondered what it looks like when somebody is biting his tongue on live television, that was the <laughs> face that I had right there because this is all so completely absurd. I've never seen a general manager get ripped up and down by his owners, the point where they haven't even spelled his name correctly. <laughs> and, and beyond that, Greeny, the rhetoric that was in Fred and Jeff Wilpon's statements about Rob Manfred was extraordinarily dear leaderish, like way, way too over the top. This whole thing is absurd. And it's really unfortunate that it took away from a moment on the field yesterday that deserved all of the attention. Yeah, you're 100% right about all of that, particularly the last piece.